Good afternoon, curling fans. Look at that. I'm on time all by myself, so it's Pim who makes us late. I ne <laughs> We are never on time for this. Look at everything is all ready to go. Welcome into session number two of our Super Sunday here. We've got a good matchup, League C matchup between Jakob Juk and Ramstein. Uh, really looking forward to this one. Jakob Juk, our team, one of the teams from Cologne, joining us here in the Belgian League. They are fighting for one of those top two relegate, uh, promotion spots out of C. They've uh, played this morning. They won their match against Merrick Lokskin. So they now sit uh, just two points behind the leaders. This is their final match. A win here would put things into a somewhat of a disarray. We'll have uh, three teams tied with 10 points sitting atop with only two being able to go up. I'm not sure who has the tiebreakers, but we'll, uh, we'll definitely have to see... Uh, have a look at that. But when we get to the standings in a little bit, we're also going to see Ramstein today. Uh, have not seen them on cast yet this season. Actually, I don't even think we've seen them on cast yet this year. Um, so we're really looking forward to really looking forward to seeing them how they play. They've got a couple of new players with them today with uh, Marika and Jul uh, Dries. So relatively new to curling. Marika has been playing for a couple of years. Uh, two or three years, uh, but this is her first season of playing competitive stuff. She has trained with the juniors for, for a couple of years. Uh, her father, Dries, has also joined curling this year after bringing his daughter to, uh, to, the, to the rink for, for a couple of years, deciding, hey, this looks like fun. I'll give it a shot. So he's joined in, uh, in, in playing with them as well. Thomas will be their third and followed up by Adrian. Adrian has the most experience of all of the curlers on, on Ramstein. They've been, he's been playing for, for quite a few years, so uh, we're looking forward to see how he has evolved as a skip because I know for a while he, he, this is, his, I think, his first year skipping, so this will be interesting. They're going up against the Jakob Juk team, which contains a couple of Americans, a couple of Germans, but they're based out of uh, Cologne. A uh, really strong team. They've been playing pretty well. Uh, had a good match this morning against Mariglowska and won, so that puts them two points out of first place. So we're looking forward to uh, seeing how this is going to shake out. So while we're talking about the standings, let's take a look. These aren't fully up to date. They haven't been updated with this morning's matches. So you can see Jakob Juk. It, right now it says four point, uh, four games played, six points. It's actually five games played and eight points. Uh, White my ass and Lutzenberg ladies, the ladies from Lux, uh, Luxembourg, they've already finished all of their matches. So going five and one and uh, scoring 10 points. So Jakob Juk with a win will tie that in with the, uh, you know, with the 10 points. And then it'll all come down to tiebreakers. I believe Lutzenberg has the tiebreaker over White my ass. And maybe White My Ass has the tiebreaker over Jakob Juk. I'm not sure. So we don't know. I, I don't know who's who's played who. Uh, but yeah, we're, it's it's gonna have an effect. This this match is important for for these teams. Ramstein, only three matches played. They've uh, with two. They've had some injury uh, injuries, uh, uh, so not able to play as much. Uh, so they've had to delay a lot of their matches till the end of the season. So they'll be playing this weekend and next weekend, trying to catch up and finish their season off. Uh, Viri Chatillon two or do they have finished all of their matches they they last at the first half of the season they were in a strong tender for getting promoted to a a rough weekend at the end of the season saw them actually dropping three matches and falling down into the relegation category here and in, uh, into she into cat uh well, into the C League, uh, and where they've struggled in the C League, I think they've had some uh, a new lineup come in at a, at a couple times and just had some uh, tough losses. So they're sitting with two points. There's no relegation from C; it's the lowest you can go, but you obviously don't want to finish on the bottom. Smerik Lokska, they've played four matches, still have two more to go, have yet to score any points, but they are also a new team. It's interesting. It's we're glad to have them in. They joined uh, just this year, learning how to curl. They play out of Ghent. Um, and they come join us here in, in Zemst for, for their league matches. And, and they're learning a lot. They're getting better and better. They, they, they pushed Jakob Juk to, you know, to the final stone in the, in the final end this morning, losing by one. So not a team to be trifled with, despite their record on the, uh, in, the, in the table. So this is what we've got going on today, right now, this, this afternoon's match. A little bit later... This evening we have a we have a League A matchup between Team Verek and the Desperate Housekeepers, two of the 
powerhouses of uh, Belgian curling. Team Vareka, the the ben, men's national team, they have been the 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 league champions for a couple seasons now, a couple seasons in a row, maybe even more. I'd have to look up that history. Uh, but Desperate Housekeepers, the Challengers, they always kind of play these guys very well. Uh, a relatively, I don't want to say new team, newer than Team Team Vareka, but Housekeepers have been around for about four or five years. Really strong, young bunch of guys, really athletic, really getting into the sport and have been, uh, they, they want to be that team that challenges Team Vareka for the right to represent them at the Nat Europeans. So uh, they've been playing pretty well, playing, playing, training a lot, doing a lot. So that's going to be our matchup tonight, really marquee. But we're going to focus it here on this one today. We've got the, uh, looks like they're doing their LSDs. So why don't we watch in? We've got Jennifer throwing her, uh, her stone. Let's see, which camera is that? We'll look at the far one while I get the near one in at the angle. This one's going to come into the house. Let's take a look. This one's looking really good. Want to get this one as close as possible. For those of you who don't know, we use this. We call it the LSDs. It's last shot draw or sometimes called the draw, draw shot challenge. Um, after the team's nine minute warm ups, they get to throw each uh, a stone from each direction. One person throws from the left, one throws from the right. Then they add up the total distance from the center. And the team with the lowest total gets to uh, choose whether they want the hammer or the uh, what color of stones they want. I would say 100% of the teams are 99.9 .9 repeating, <laughs> choose the hammer. <laughs> the color is predetermined by the throw off, uh, the, the, the warm up. So they do a toss, they flip a coin before decide, determine who gets to go the train first, who gets to warm up second. So, uh, Yakup Yuk won the toss, so they were throwing first. Or th uh, they warmed up second, excuse me. So that was Jennifer's. That was a really good one. I would guess that would be somewhere around like the 60 centimeter mark. And now we have James coming in. Trying to cement this one for for uh, Jakob Juk. I did not see James's or the uh, Yuk, uh, Ramstein's LSD, so not quite sure what they have to beat. But you always want to start out good, even if you've guaranteed the the hammer. You always want to throw a good stone. Have some. Make sure your weight is is sitting in a good spot. This one coming in, it's a little bit light. Are they going to get this? Oops. Just gets it into the house. So it is going to be measured. Anything outside of the house is automatically 185.4 centimeters. This one looks to be somewhere around the 170. 170 mark would be my guess. So with that, see things are going to have to do some math. <laughs> They're going to have to figure out who is doing what. A uh, little bit of discussion, just making sure they agree with the measurements. We have two other matches going on this morning while well, we're waiting this over on sheet C. We have a League B matchup between Bell the Blue Huskies and Keck Cologne, the team we saw yesterday. Uh, we saw Cologne in the morning. We saw Blue Huskies this morning. So both of those teams playing. Huskies down to three players this afternoon, uh, unfortunately due to some off ice uh, goings on so they are down to three players over on sheet a we have luxembourg luxembourg one Lutzeburg playing against i believe it's team reese yep team reese and another uh, league b matchup we'll 
bring you guys scoring updates from those matches as we go along. I'll try to keep everything uh, up to date. So I see Ramstein setting up in the house. That means that uh, Jakob Juk has the hammer. Nope. Why did that not work? Oh, I forgot to click apply. There we go. There we go. So Dries will be leading things off here for Ramstein. I am going to try to get everybody's name correct and the cameras going. Hope you enjoy everything. Sit back, relax. Hope you have a beverage. I've got my water for this afternoon. We'll have some beers for the uh, maybe for the evening uh, match. But here we go. Would help if I had the right camera under control. There we go. Oops. Oh, and it <laughs> responds a little fast. Sweeper staying off this one. Now they get down looking at it. Starting to curl over. This one is going to just get onto that center line, I believe. There we go. Let's get the uh, cameras in the right position. There we go. We have Julian's first stone of the afternoon. Starting things off for Jakob Juk. This one is a bit on the heavy side. This one's going to get into the house. I think with this fresh pebble, that's going to slide fairly... No! What do I know? Hashtag John's wrong. Second stone of the, uh, of the match. The skips are mic'd up, so we're going to be getting, uh, getting to hear how they're going. Oh, I see they're some votes. Votes starting to roll in on the, pa take on the, out. on the, the poll. Uh, pick your favorite. We're going to see how, how, what kind of, uh, prediction skills you guys have. This one a little bit heavy for the draw, but it's going to actually tap out this yellow, so... Okay. Good plan B there. Yep. Control. Yes, we're now. Immediately call for sweep. This one is is tight. Sweeper's really trying to work this one. Well, we're we're on the guard. He was yeah. way narrow. This one's gonna crash on the guard. Very narrow. As it's on the, uh, okay. you have the five rock rule. For those of you not aware. First five stones in play, if they're in front of the house, you're not allowed to take them away. So the shooter goes away and the uh, stone is replaced where it lied, was lying. Dark. Rika here, her first stone this afternoon. We've seen her in doubles league play, I believe. Or was it during the cup? Opportunity Get here to try to draw in behind. This one looks a bit heavy. Sneak, sneak. Had Need some comments this morning that the ice was very fast. This one definitely looks on the sneak, fast sneak. side. Well, that works out. 
not necessarily the intended stone, but hey, that's actually a pretty good position. Kind of takes away their own, but it does roll it underneath huh? some guards, so. Let's play the draw. Looking for the draw here on this one. Going to use that red one. It's behind the T-line so they can use this one for backing. Yeah, if you can. Yep. Yes. The sweepers yes. to hold it. Wants them hard. to stay off. They backed off. Hard. Shouting at them hard, trying to get this hard. one around the guard. I, I don't think that's going to get it. It's going to crash it. All right, that works. But it does open things up, so... Decent result there for, for the stones. Sometimes you got to take the uh, the happy accidents as they come, you know? Stone got a little bit inside hey, uh, of her body, but uh, hey, trying to hold this one straight. Maybe pushed it back a little bit to the Whoa. inside. This one's going to curl in. Going to be a little bit over curl, but is going to come into the house. Oh. Sits in the house. There's a double there. But is that what they're going to concern themselves with? We can play that hit or we can try to come under. Okay. Uh, let's play hack weight. Hack. James looking at different options, opting for the hack weight, hack weight stone. So wanting to hit this red one and then roll underneath the other. Whoa! Hack weight is kind of an up weight shot, not Jennifer. too hard. They want to make sure this one curls over. Trying to get this one to curl underneath. Looks like it's a little bit That's on the wide think. side. All right, nice. Is going to get rid of the shot stone. Shooter rolls to the edge of the house. We'll be sitting third position. So now. Adrian's going to need to think about what do they do here? You can guard this. You can put a draw in behind this yellow one that he's looking at. You could even try to split by taking a stone here, pushing that there, letting the shooter fall here, and this one coming behind the guard, but that is a very tricky, difficult shot. Might not be worth doing at this point in the in the end. All right, so looking at a guard here. Sneak, sneaks. Okay, good. I was just getting paranoid that he had. That his microphone had gotten muted, but no, he just wasn't saying anything. Oh, oh. So, trying to get this one as deep as possible. Want to get this one buried. Doesn't quite curl around by the guard, a little bit halfway. Yep. Immediately call for sweep. Feels like this one's tight. All the way. Trying to hold this one as hard as they can. Come on. Catches the top one. 
Ooh, not quite far enough outside. It doesn't push that red one, so that one's now covered up. As you heard James say, narrow off the throw. So Adrian opting for a draw here as we zoom in on Thomas. Good fella. Mix. Needs to curl. Wonder what the weight Mix. looks like. Doesn't look. Looks like maybe Mix. a touch heavy. This one going to carry into the house. Trying to get this one to finish with a good curl in as far over as possible. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Thank you. Good job there. Yep. Dries is happy with that one. Adrian, Adrian is happy with that one. <laughs> we can try to run it again or we can draw around. We'll play one more of the run, yeah? Looking to play the, the run back, double these out. Mine's good. Whoa. Weight yep. looks pretty good on this one. Gonna try to catch that far. Good. Doesn't quite curl over enough. Kind of falls in there. Sitting third shot with some backing behind it. So it won't be easy for... For Ramstein gotcha. to take care of it, but they're not really going to worry about that. Sitting third shot, they're going to try to steal here. Going to try to protect this shot up underneath. This is always kind of a difficult, uh, difficult position to be in. You're sitting behind the T line. You really don't like defending those kinds of shots, but. This late in the end, this is what you've got to work with. I got feel the bottom up the end. Gonna curl there it goes. It's already starting to, to fall. This one might curl a little over curl. Yeah, this one's going to call curl quite a lot. It's their nice weight. Kind of well, a little well protected, a little protected over there. You can see about half of it. Going to opt for. Oh, I believe I'm one. Oh yeah, it's James's turn. Okay, I'm not. I thought he was setting up the setting up the broom for Jennifer, but there she is, <laughs> right behind him. So, yeah. Oops, I missed the microphone. It's gonna fly, try to curl this over, freeze up against that uh, red shot there, right, so sitting the at the edge of the forefoot. T line. T line corner freeze, right up against the edge of the rock. Trying to lay off this one. They want this one to curl over. Is it going to have enough? Maybe a little bit heavy that's not going to curl over enough. Yep, and that one's going to stay straight, kind of slide on through and out the back. Yeah. yeah. All right, so Ramstein, opportunity here to kind of yeah. make a difficult house, make it difficult for... James with his last stone. Yeah, we definitely don't want this one to be too far. This one is better too light than too heavy. This one, though, seems like it's a bit on the heavy side. 
asking for it to slow down. Yeah, this one is going to be on the heavier side. Perhaps it creates a gap, but that also means there is a pocket no, there. Yeah. yeah, it's hammer, so throw. What do we want to throw at it? A hit? Why don't we just throw what I just threw, right? Yep. No, same ice, because it went right down that. Yeah, it went right down that line, right? So same ice, same weight. James gonna throw the same stone, get a hope for a nose hit. Tap it there out of uh, that red one out of the way. Right. Same shot will come right down to it, yeah? So, Ramstein sitting four. Slightly heavier draw for James. Needing the nose hit to score Julian. one. Julian. Trying to force this one over. Want to make sure that it curls some. Oh. Julian, Julian. It's starting to go. Is this one going to fall over enough? It comes in. It's a little bit off the nose, and it's going to slide out. Now can they sweep this one further than that one? And they do sweep it, so Shooter rolls outside, now sitting fourth shot. So that's, a, I believe, three house for Ramstein. So big steal for Ramstein there. Took control of that end. Took advantage of some of the mistakes on Jakob Yuk's side. And so they are going to take a three-point lead into, into the next end. So we're going to be starting off with... Dries is going to be leading things off here in end number two for for Ramstein as they lead 3-0 with the big steal there. Going for a center guard. This one looks a touch heavy. Yeah, this one is definitely going to come into the house. Will this stop in time? Comes right in. It's right on top of the forefoot. A little bit deeper than they would have liked, but... Uh, play the hit already. What do you like, Julian? Okay. Let's get the split screen here. So going for the hit. Want to take this one out, not risk any... Yes! Oh, it's no! tight. Yes! Come on, you got it. Yes, hard. Looking to try to sweep to hold this one. They need to get rid of it. There it goes. Shooter flies out the side as well, but the important part is that stone is out of the way. Really tight off his hand there. But we're back to square one. No stones left in the house. Nothing in play. So Adrian, Adrian just saying, let's do it again. Put the center guard up. Thomas indicating this is level five, so a little bit deeper than they would like. Generally, five means behind the knees, T line, yeah. depending on the team, whether you're using a seven point or a five point scale. This one coming in deep goes past the T. James trying to sweep it out the back, but this is going to sit in the, uh, oops, wrong house, in the forefoot, just back behind the forefoot.
Bang away from the hit this time, trying to bring over and set up a corner guard. Sweepers getting on this one, trying to bring it as deep as they can to that uh, to the house. Very good positioning there. Yep. Adrian looking which side do we come from? Opting for up that edge. Oh. Marika forgetting to take off her gripper. A little bit of an accident there. It happens. Happens to the best of us. Um, <laughs> Is it? Uh, we always say um, if, if you hold it, you can. I'm just saying, but you can steer it, but that's. Uh, you have to hold it. I don't know. Well, it's your choice. It's your choice. Cross the T line, yeah? Yeah, yeah so. Rule is if it if the stone crosses the T line, it is in play. So a little bit of a discussion here on what the rules are. We often you often see teams just kind of say forget about it, but this is it is the rule they are allowed to make that decision. So they're discussing it. The official rule is if it crosses the T-line, it is in play. So James is just getting clarification to making sure that's the, the rule that's in the Belgian League. So they are they have the discretion of what to do. They can allow them to play it again. They can say the rock is out of play. So this is... Uh, so... There, James just wanted to make sure what the rule was, so making sure things are clear. Okay, thanks. But they're allowing, allowing the stone to stay, to, allowing her to rethrow the stone. Nanette. At higher levels, they would they would very much say, no, this stone has has been burned." But a uh, sportsman sportsman like decision from James to allow them to to keep it going. This one is going to be a little bit deep and is going to slide through the back of the house. So going to go for a corner, get behind that corner guard, try to get into the house out on the edge, start building things up. It's wide too. We're coming down to the red one. Yep. Going for the audible on this one. All it's a bit wide. So they're going to try to sweep this one, get it onto that red. This one taps it, runs it back. Doesn't quite get it all the way out of the house, but does get it out of scoring or out of shot position. Take out. Originally looking at the uh, the draw, now going take out for a hit and roll here. Need to sweep. This one looks a Come little on. bit tight. Vega, Vega, Vega. I try to hold Vega, this one. It needs to make Vega. contact. Come on, Vega, Vega, Sweeper's Vega, working hard, Vega. but once it gets Vega, across Vega. that center Vega, line, Vega. it just goes. This oh, one is sorry. going to. Oh. oh. He thought it was gone, so he, he called them off, and maybe if they kept sweeping, they would have caught enough. Let's go here. 
unfortunate. Yeah, I thought it was gone. I've been there. I've made those calls, and it's it. Yeah, it never feel good to miss. Oh, he fell. Decided to push that one. Is this one going to have enough weight on it? Stay close. This one gets around, but going to be a little bit heavy and is going to slide out the back. A really good line just to squeak by, but yeah, it was just too heavy. Any lighter, and that probably moves everything around. So going to go again for a takeout hit and roll opportunity on this one. This one feels a little bit wider. Needs to curl over. Yeah, this one, unfortunately, I think Thomas pushed it out. Is not, not okay. going to not going to curl back in and just goes out the back end of the house. Neither team taking advantage of the other team's mistakes. So the top, top eight, top four is preferred. Mine's good. Only wait. Okay. Whoa, then. Nice. Yep. Balance throw there from Jennifer. Whoa. This one a little bit outside, a little bit heavy. Is this one going to go through the house? I believe so. Yep. Okay. Adrian going to sweep it a little bit. So the ice seems super okay. fast out Let's there. Just settle down, guys. Yeah. Difficult game this one. Both teams making uh, having tough with the adjustments of getting the ice set. Uh. Ah, you played already to the, uh. <laughs> the snellet. No, it just needs teams just need to settle down, get that throw a little bit slower, make the make the miss Bigger. short. Oh, 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 Gets the hit, not gonna roll over. Unfortunately, Shooter slides out of the house, just yeah. to, caught it a little bit off to the side. Top four. All right, looking for something in the house behind this guard. They wanna get on the board. They wanna get on the board with multiple points. Mine's good, yeah, if you can. We're a little tight. We're tight. Yep. Calling for the sweep. Yep. A little tight on the line. Need to make sure this yeah, gets around. Can. Yep. This one's going to tap on that yep, yellow. Come on, tap. Come on, tap Is it, it. going to get it yep. through? Yep. Is it going to yep. get it into okay. the house? Unfortunately not. So a little bit tight, a little bit, little bit light. Yeah. yeah. So chance for you know chance for Ramstein to get behind those guards themselves and to take that opportunity away from uh, Jakob Juk. Uh, yeah. Want this one to curl over. This one's going to get around the guard, so now they're going to try to get this one into the house, get it covered. It's a pretty good stone there. I believe we're going to have a little bit peeking out, but not so much that it's going to be an easy, an easy get. Yeah. 
It is Jakob Juk's stone there as a guard, so they can try to tap this one in. Try to use that to push that red one away. Because even if we're here and giving them half, that means we'll have a shot afterwards. So, you know? yeah. Yeah. So they're going to try to get this behind their own, that red. Red sitting high up in the in the house. Take a look at that here. You can see that there is room for it to come in. All right, guys, just get it in at least halfway just come behind in. there, top four. Just try to get it yeah. somewhere over there, right around the forefoot. Even if it's half covered, would be a good spot. Yeah. Are we? Okay. Julian. Nope. Uh, yep. Yep. Wanting yep. this one hard. to curl over. Need to get it hard. hard. They want this get deep. Get behind. It needs yep. to be. Sh yep. There it goes. Trying to get this one to curl. Doesn't really right. seem to curl. Coming off at the end, but good. It is in the shots, shot position. However, it is sitting open, so... Possibility here for for Adrian. They could hit and roll. They could hit we'll and roll ahead. underneath. We'll they could hit and roll right. out to the other side. Try to force the one. Not hearing a lot of confidence in the uh, ice on the, on this shot. Most important thing is to make sure this yellow goes away. Holding the shooter would be anywhere in the house would be ideal. Come on, fella! Needs it to curl. There, it's starting to go. Is this going to curl too much? Taps their own red, and then it's going to slide through. And, ooh, just trickles deep. So, sitting out yeah. in the open. What weight do we want? Just. just need to make sure they get rid of this red. Don't need to do too much with it. Hold the shooter, score two, get back into it. Yep. All right, just control weight to the nose, yeah? This is one of those make sure shots. You want to make sure You've got the right weight. It hits in the right spot. Yep. Yep. Hard all the way. Hard. Wanting to hold this line, make hard, sure it doesn't over curl because it curls a lot at the end. Needs to hold it. Is this going to catch it? It okay. does, but Sorry, guys. unfortunately slides off. Shooter slides off. So that is going to be one for Jakob Juk. They are on the scoreboard, had an opportunity there for two, unfortunately not able to hold the stone. So that is going to take us into end number three. Ramstein Ramstein leads it leads Jakob Juk three to one. Ramstein with the hammer here in the third end. Open up with a corner guard. 
or sorry, a center guard, but this one looks to be carrying a little bit wide, a little bit deep. I'm not sure this one is going to stop in the house. Yeah, it looks like it's slowing down. It's going to be just a little bit past the T-line. It's it swept out to the back of the forefoot. Adrian, not quite sure what he wants this one to do. Looking for a freeze. No, not quite sure. Yep, going for the freeze, saying, okay, final decision. Oops, wrong uh, camera. <laughs> Almost Wait indicating up. this one's just going to stay above the oh. T-line. Niks, niks. Moet zo niks mogelijk vallen. This one is heavier than that. And is going to over curl and kind of go through. Yeah, okay. James able to sweep that one back. Top eight. This one to come too deep, but this one is going to be heavy. Might even freeze on that far stone. Ooh, gives a little bit Sorry. of a tap, so yeah. a little bit Sorry. more weight than they thought. Adrian still not quite sure what he should be calling here. Gonna try it again, but from another angle. So looking for the freeze, wanting to get this on top of that yellow. Locked into place. Which Line and weight for? are crucial. Moet nog altijd heel veel vallen. Needs to fall a lot. Needs to curl a lot. Yeah, Starting oh, oh, to move over. Oh. Is this going to get Come down there? Oh, that's fantastic. Absolutely perfect. Freeze there. Very difficult stone to get right. 100%. Unfortunately, still like a touch this behind the... Wait. Back on the T line. Tap. Yeah, James Draw. saying, let's a little bit heavy. Want to kind of unlock unlock that uh, yellow from behind the red. Whoa. Tricky part is when you start adding weight, you start adding straightness. You needs to make sure this one gets the line. Looks pretty good coming in. But nope, not quite going to curl over a enough. Lot more rotation uh, on that one, so it didn't curl. Yeah. No. So a little bit more handle than they were expecting, and it didn't r didn't turn enough, didn't curl enough, excuse me, to get on top of that red. Yep. Gonna try to do this again. Marika following in her father's footsteps, wanting to freeze right on top of that. She can even afford to be a little heavy because that will still leave them blocked in together. But need to make sure they have the weight right, the line right. This one feels outside and a bit heavy. 
Not sure that's going to curl over enough. Nope, that's going to follow the previous stone and slide by the outside. Going through. Yeah, that's a tough shot. Trying to get it right. Here we go again. Same stone. A little bit heavy. Need to make sure that it's on the right line. Yep. Yep. Calling for the sweep. Feels like this one's a little bit tight. Yeah, there yes. it goes. As it starts to curl, it's going to curl a lot. Yes, right to it. Is this one going to get on that line? Yes. Looks to be pretty good. Trying to get it all the way down. It's coming in over the top. Going to curl over just a little bit too much. All right. Good. Perfect weight. Well, perfect for the freeze. I think they wanted a little bit heavier. However, corner freeze gives them an opportunity to do something with it. Does not get rid of the... Uh, doesn't unlock it, though. But I think with that angle, they'll be able to push, tap on their own, get something close. They'd like to draw this one in, freeze it on the corner inside of that yellow one. Snap it! Vega! Vega, Vega, Vega! Sweeper's indicating it's heavier. There you see it just catches that curl and it starts to go. That's, that's going to go all the way past. It was just past the T-line, but yeah, that seemed to just curl a huge amount there. Once it started to go, it broke over. James taking a look to see what kind of we come options at it, they've we got. Can probably hit this too, yeah? Chip and hit this. Otherwise, we have the draw here. You like the draw? Do the draw. Draw. Jennifer, not sure she wanted to influence the decision that much, but that is, is the skip's prerogative. You know, you ask what kind of, which shot right, they prefer to throw, and if they have options, sometimes yep. you can take it. So this hey, one, see there, it Come starts on, to curl right at that point, a couple meters before. On, We're going to try to bring this one down. Right to it. All whoa, the way whoa, into whoa, it. Whoa, whoa. Oh, that's okay. a fantastic stone there from Jennifer. Great stone. Puts it right on the pin. Is a little bit open now, sitting out there, but you have that risk of... Well, the redstone's locked into place. I think if we look back over the top, redstone's locked into place. So even if they're a little bit on the inside, it's not uh, going anywhere. Nigga. Gonna go for the draw, which isn't a bad thing. You don't want to necessarily like send a rocket in there. Just want to kind of tap that yellow one out of the way. Feels a bit wide, a bit on the heavy side. I think coming in from that side, it's less curl. Yeah. Trying to sweep this, calling for the sweep oh, now. Oh, Wanted oh, to make sure. Let's look in here. Oh, that's going to be fantastic as well. That's going to put it in a nice spot. They can still use that to come in yeah. after the red. Is going to make taking out that yellow a little bit trickier. But I think we're looking at pretty good positioning. Four. If you're a little short, it's okay too. Yeah. Looking to kind of draw in on top of that. Yep. Yeah, 
it's going to be impossible to get rid of those reds, so I think they're just going to have to try to uh, play here for the freeze, or play for the, the steal of one. Line's good. Try to make Looks sure they like kind of protect more. that. A little bit on the heavier side, James thinks. Whoa. Yep. 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 Bringing this one in. Taps it on the side. I want this one to spill out a little bit away so there's not a, a pocket there to go after. So yeah, tap there on the outside edge of that uh, of the nose on that red. Get rid of that yellow and leave it sitting still in a pretty strong position. Black, black, black. Yeah. Here's Bella. Needs to curl. Sneak, 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 Oh. There's only sneak. Gets it too far out yeah, to the side, sneak. but manages to pick out two of those, uh, two of those yellows. But now that red is not locked into anywhere. Tap that so back. Or even nose with takeout, right? What's that? Yeah, just inside nose. Okay, good. Um, yep, let's throw that just inside nose. Yep. We're going to throw a control takeout. We're just going to want to hit inside nose to unlock that red one in the back. Yeah. But really just off a of nose is what we want. Yeah. Be on the just off the inside part of the nose here. Yep. Yep. Whoa. Whoa. Excuse me. Outside part of the Julian. nose. Trying to get this to curl over. Want to make sure this has got enough room. Going to move over. Good. Sits on top. Gets rid of one of those reds. Great. We're still covering the button. Yellow still sitting on top of the pin. The new plan B, plan A. Not an easy choice here for Rumstein. Gonna try to pick off that yellow sitting a shot stone. <laughs> Not an easy one. It's gonna be a little bit tricky because I think even if they get rid of it, it's gonna unlock that red. De linkse gelen die uh, als we de streep zien, de linkse rechtstreeks weg te pakken. En plan B is als hem te veel valt, dat we dan op hun rechtse gelen vallen. En via onze rode hun gelen wegpakken, maar. Not going to be easy to hold things in place. I think this red, you know, if they pick this off, red becomes unlocked. And then uh, Jakob Juk, you'll see them tap it back. They'll end up with two frozen next to each other. Bigger! Sweeping hard, trying to get this to hold. Picks off the top. What did we end up with there? So moves the red out, yellow sitting shot still.
kind of there. They're going to try to corner freeze that. You've got that red sitting behind, so it would be very difficult to get this. They can block the pin pretty well. Wants to get to that center line side of the nose of the yellow. And do Hi this. guys, freeze on our own, just on the inside, on the uh, right side. Come in, they want to sit this there. Yeah. That way it'll kind of lock things in place. That, then they have, they, anything will wreck, I think, yeah? Oops. So just, just right to our own. There we go, yep. Okay, then sweep it. Sweepers feel it might be light, so they're going to try Come to sweep on guys, this right one to down. Own. You got it. You got it. You got it. All the way. Right to it. Right to it. Trying to get this one down as much as they can, deep as they nice. can. Good. Good. Ooh, it's tough to tell if that's second shot or not, but that is going to take away a bit of a... Bit of a shot here for, I don't think they can get rid of both. Do they need to hit this one on the nose? I think they do. Nose is fine. plan is the links again, and the that here for me is the last stain. All right, here we go. It's coming on down, trying to get this last yellow out of the way, but it is, needs to curl. Needs to curl. And, oh no, catches the red, moves it out. Well, steal a one for Jakob Juk. Ah, uh, that was close. Almost gets it. All right, I am going to... I need to take a quick break. Going to set you guys up with the split camera angle for just a moment so you guys watch the first couple of ends while I go uh, take care of some business. So, Yuck-up Yuck with the steel. Gets them back in closer to, takes a little bit out of the lead from Ramstein. So Ramstein leading at three to two as we head into the fourth end. And I will be right back.
I'm back. Let's get things caught up. Oops. Don't have the right positioning of the cameras. Apologize for missing the stone. There we go, we're all caught up. Caught up on stones. Take out going here. Oh, trying to get that one just slides on the inside. Yep, gonna go here with what the. Uh, do you want? For a harder weight, hack weight, maybe? Is that what I heard? Trying to hear that through all of the background noise. Yes! Ooh, inside, immediate call for Hard. sweeping here. Come on, come well, on, right to one it. Right to it. Gonna get that Good. fall to the middle. Unfortunately, just a little bit too much curl, and that's gonna slide out the side of the house, back I side of the house. Because it was here, but it was actually not over the line. I, I, if it already touched the line, it probably would have gone out. Yeah, yeah sorry. <laughs> it's a, an automatism. You say, oh, right. job completed. Up oh, and <laughs> sorry. Adrian saying he may have taken the uh, stone yeah. out of play a little too early. But uh, James thinks it was probably going across the line, so not a, not an issue. Playing quite a lot of ice for the stone. I'm gonna try to sweep it to hold oh. it, make sure Locked it gets it. down. I want this one to curl over. Taps on it, pushes it through, holds the shooter. Yep. Same weight. Looking to get rid of this red one again. Just going to throw the same weight as the last time. Whoa! Feels outside. I think James concurs. That weight, it's just not going to curl over. Pushed that it will out just as you let it go, yeah? fly by. Yep, yeah, pushed it out. So never going to have a chance. Going for a little bit of a tap back there. <laughs> hey, Drew, having to remember which way do we ask her to, to uh, line up if we want her to turn it this way. Lelat! Nix! Lata Stilvala! This one's a little bit heavy, a little bit outside. This one is going to just fly by, go out the back.
What do you, what do you want to throw? Control? Okay. All right, looking for the hit and roll slightly over to the right side. Try to get in front of that yellow in the back. Yes! Jennifer saying control weight. James immediately calling for sweep Whoa. out of her hands. Yes! Yes! Right to it. Really nice. Great shot. That's going to hit, and that's going to... Roll over a little bit, but still very nice shot there. No, nothing to worry about. Get something in the center of the house. That one stone way in the back. It's going to be an, an annoyance to Ramstein. Going to ignore it for now, but looking for the draw here behind. The come around behind it. Now it's starting to curl. Is this going to have the... It's going to maybe be a little bit on the heavy side. Oh, clips off that yellow. Runs back, setting second shot kind of in front of the... Red there, yellow there, excuse me. We can try to come around, or we can freeze this. Just draw here, yep. Looking for the draw. Line's good. Where are we? Yes! The line, this might be a little bit on Whoa. the heavy side, I think. It's going to get around behind that. No, oh, it's going to easily clear by the guard, but I think it's going to be a bit heavy. That's going to get swept through. Just a little bit too much weight on it. Kind of a struggle with both these teams finding the right right line with combined with the right weight. Better for going just a little bit deep on this one. Seemed like he pulled this one outside on the release. Matt. Vega. Get this one as deep as possible. Want this one to come all the way down. Is that going to get all the way there? Oh, comes up just a little bit on the light side. Accidental tap of the yellow shot stone with his foot, with Dries' foot. So just making sure that goes back to the right position. We can try the draw again, or we can try to take that one. But coming here, if we're a touch light, and yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. They're going to try to draw this in between those yep. two stones in the house, come around behind the red, and park it over there in second shot position behind some cover. Ideally, okay. Just a draw. Just coming we'll either in here. T line, or we can come freeze in under there. Yeah. So just looking for something like that. I think the line is more important than the the weight. Obviously, weight Hopefully needs to be already, enough to get yeah. in the house. So it curls. Whoa. 
Yep. All right, getting on it. Whoa. Getting on it. Want to make sure it's going to get between. Now is it going to okay, curl right to over yep. enough? I'm going to get this one all the way down. If it's too deep, we might as well get it into the freeze. Good. Thanks, guys. Good sweep. All right. Proberen weg te pakken en. Ja, ik ga zien vandaag, maar ik denk hetzelfde als hem. I think they're going to try to get rid of this red yellow one. Ik ga het proberen hetzelfde te doen als hem. Maar dan iets harder en dan achter de achter zijn gele uit te komen, ja. All right, so they want to kind of do the same shot that James just made. Try to get it back. Tap on the outer side of the Was yellow the there and roll over okay, under guard. More and more votes rolling in on the poll. Jakob Juk being the fan favorites right now. Ramstein having a point and somebody opting for the tie. Interesting call there. That's really a uh, really tough one to actually pull for. Vega, 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 Vega. Vega, 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 Vega. this one to make sure. Vega, 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 Vega. Oh, that's going to crash off the red, but sneaks underneath. A little bit of a tricky, uh, tricky, tricky slip there. Kind of snuck underneath that yellow one. Unfortunately, though, it is not their own stone, but... A nose hit on okay, the yellow the will actually, I think, jam the uh, that or I hit this into it, right? jam the red. So try to stay on the outside of this and send it back this way. Yellow coming in here. If he takes it a little so. bit outside and because if he catches it on the nose, the this could jam there. They're kind of hoping it goes out this way. Well, I want to hit this on the outside, right? So this comes over to here and pushes it straight back. Ah, thank you for explaining that. Yep. So, okay. when you come out here, this so like goes there, and heel. this goes straight back. Uh, normal. So they have their battle plan, sitting right. in a pretty, pretty strong position. I think we can keep ours in there with the normal. Yeah. Huh? huh? Yeah. Doesn't need to be too far on the outside to get that red to go straight back. Just want to make sure. Yep. Just want to make sure that it is out yep. off the nose. Yep. Well, red does hit on that okay. yellow, but it does get out as well, so. Does the job, gets rid of red sitting there behind in the shot behind something. So, but leaves open an open hit for two. Oops. This camera position's in place. This one feels Vega, Vega, tight. Vega. Oh, Come I think on, he's Vega, a little Vega. bit tight. This one's going to curl away. They're not going to be able to hold that. It's already gone. Oh, no. Tough miss there for Adrian. And that is going to give it be a steal of one for Jakob Juk. Gets them in, back into the match, levels things up halfway into it. Wait, something didn't go right. Oh. Let's try this again. There we go. Update the score. There we go. So, as we make it to the halfway point, teams are going to take a brief break. I will make sure the cameras are all in position getting ready for this and so then we will come back and I'll 
do a little brief wrap up here, a little brief review of the that first half. So we saw we saw Ramstein come out big in that first end, get scoring three, but then not taking their cha- they, taking advantages of some of the mistakes that uh, Jakub Juk has made, allowing Jakub Juk making some of their own mistakes, and then Jakub Juk coming in and stealing two in a row to get back into this. You know, really had a chance there. The th- big difference between uh, five to two and three to three. So, uh, you know, unfortunately, Adrian was just a little bit tight on that uh, on that th- takeout, and it just curled off completely. So, Virginia asking, what will decide the tiebreaker if Cologne wins and the three teams at the top have the same number of points? Um, I believe they look at head to head record. Um, if we have one of those situations where it's a circle where one team beat the other, beat the other, beat the other, then that goes away. And then they look at, um, the LSDs or the draw shot challenges, the distance that, so it would be ranked by, uh, whoever has the lowest average. So, um, and then I believe if there's a tie there, then they look at start looking at ends or stones or things like that played. But you know what? We could look at this current standings and we could kind of see what what we're looking at here. So a three way tie would be a big advantage for Yekup Yuk. I think that would see them going into you know, with their LSDs, they're well under. It doesn't matter what they threw today, it's not gonna raise their uh um raise it that high so they would be looking at a first place on that tiebreaker depending on how the 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 head-to-heads go um but then you're gonna see wipe my ass and look at that between uh Lutzenberg coming down to 42 centimeters no not even that uh centimeters millimeters yeah so that's that's 42 millimeters that isn't even right that's it's really tight <laughs> it is a circle for the three teams in the head-to-head. Yeah, so then a win here, that puts Jakob Juk through to, uh, that'll give them the win in the C division, promotion to A, and then I believe Wipe My Ass will finish second. There is that one in the match circle with Kamala, which I think means that uh, Jakob Juk would tie, yeah, I don't know. This is this is kind of crazy. Uh, I didn't we didn't expect this, but we like this. I think every every division, every league this season has coming down to like it's going to come down to the last games or who's going to get promoted, who's going to get relegated, what kind of this. So this is interesting. We're seeing this one. Uh, Jakub Yuk starting out a little bit slow, uh, but definitely coming back. So they've got a chance win this match, and I believe they're into they're into the B division. So definitely something exciting to look at. I will have to discuss with with Dirk, the the league commissioner, just to make sure that I've got the uh, the, the information correct. But if they are on a on a three way circle, then uh, Jakub Yuk will have will be going up. <laughs> it's it's crazy that it's going to come down to just a few millimeters. I think for um, well, if everything's in centimeters. Yeah, so it's going to come down to just a few millimeters for uh, between Lutzenberg and Wipe My Ass. And Lutzenberg did beat Wipe My Ass. That I know for sure. And I think Jakob Juk beat Luxembourg. So, yeah, there's the circle. The circle of life. We saw this happen in the Doubles Cup where um, we ended up with three teams tied with uh, four and one and... We ended up winning because we had a better LSDs and so more more. Oh no, not even LSDs drew it there. It was came down to ends one, and so uh, that was that was kind of big. We can see they're waving at their fans here. Still, uh, still waiting for the last couple. Of the other Cologne team coming over, having a little chat, taking their time, but. Match is not over, you know. Yucca they, they've they've leveled it out. Four ends left to play. They're looking fairly good. James and, and Jennifer are really kind of carrying this back end of the team. And uh, Ramstein needing to get focused. I think they've just been 
you know, missing a couple of shots, getting things off offline, off target. Need to find those lines and the and the good release points. Could take a look at what's going on over on the other sheets. Let's see if I can find the right camera to do this with. Near camera, we're going to look over here. We see the match between Team Reese and Luxembourg. Looking very strong for Team Reese. They are up 10 to 1 through 4. Over on sheet C. We see it is five to one, and I believe Cologne is yellow. So yes, uh, Kek Cologne is yellow. And as we get back here onto the center sheets, uh, I have the wrong cameras placed in the wrong order. That one comes into the house. So Dree's going to be starting things off, throwing the first stone to Ramstein. First stone has already been played. Thomas indicating this one seems a little bit heavy. Going to try to sweep this one for line. This one's going to come down right on the nose. Taps yellow out of play. Good results. Yep. Julian's second stone of yep. the end. Yes. Immediately call for a sweep right out of his hand. Definitely must feel like it's well, tight. Well. I don't feel this side curls nearly yep. as much going this well. way, so. I try to get this one over on the corner freeze. A little bit heavy, right. he's gonna tap right. it away, but sitting in the shot position. Adrian a little bit, uh, not quite so convincing with what call he wants to make, but going for that hit and roll. Is that that? This feels a bit outside. For that weight, is that I gonna curl over it enough? It's not gonna make it over. Yeah, Thanks. definitely a little bit out, or quite outside the broom. Yeah, this one's just gonna flash by. Is that min of meer goed op, maar het ging geduwd. Well, Adrian's not sure that he pushed it, but probably just the the line coming off. I think I think you have my stripper. Yeah. Right. Oh, someone. Okay. Someone. Someone, else. someone has my. Uh, <laughs> that is quite a common thing when you're wearing a black gripper. People kind of grab the one that looks like theirs, and it sometimes isn't. <laughs> Fighters good or a guard. James and I, I think, have similar size feet, which tend to be on the bigger size for the average here in the club. And so sometimes I don't know how people can mistake my gripper or our grippers for uh, for theirs, especially when it starts to fall off right away. Whoa, whoa. Seems okay on its own, too. Yeah? Line's good. Likes the line on this. It's going to come down. Okay. Just a little heavy. Going to carry a little bit deep. Uh, neither of you guys have... Oh, no. You have... And that's smaller. Okay. So, there's a double sitting there. Are they going to take it? Marika, you know, being younger, doesn't quite have the weight 
for some of these heavier takeouts to move these stones, but she's going to give it a try. Yeah, I don't want Come this on, one Vega, to Vega, carry Vega, too Vega, far Vega. outside. Oops. It's going to carry a little bit over the nose. Gets rid of one. Not too bad. A little bit tight on the throw, I think, but uh, does get rid of one of the yellow. Actually slides the red over top of their one in the back, so kind yeah. of a top four. stacked three. up stone there. Not the easiest of takeouts. So opting for corner freeze on this one. Mine's okay. Okay, same weight's good. Julian, we need a little more curl out of it. Yep, yep. Trying to get the curl yep. on a little bit more on Whoa. this one. Yep, 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 yep. It's yep, not yep. going to quite get over to the red, but this is going to get down. Good. Gets into second position directly nice over the nose stones. of that one. Praise from James to Roman for two good stones. This one just a little bit offline where they wanted that corner freeze, but. Straight in line like this is going to make it more difficult to uh, to double out. Trying to ask for a lot of weight coming from uh, Marika. This one already gone away. No, this. They're going to try to sweep this one. Not quite sure where that one's going. Nope, oh, that's going to be too wide even off their own. Yeah, this one was tie it on the slide and then hold it inside so never stood much of a chance unfortunately didn't stand much of a chance top 12 or a guard yeah all right looking for cover up those two uh two in the middle gonna make this difficult for uh Ramstein to get to Okay, line's all right. Only at the end. Only at, whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 or we're gonna over curl. I don't want this one to over curl. There whoa. it goes. Jennifer, you are covering up the stone. There nice. we go. <laughs> Good. They can't get at it this way now. That's the more important side. James looking for the uh, the bright side in every shot. Not everything is completely bad, so sometimes you can find good good with it. It's going to be a little bit more difficult for Ramstein to get rid of this. Immediately call for a sweep. This one's riding right down that center line. That's going to catch... Oh, wow. Fantastic stone there. We've got ourselves a clickable, clickable shot. Fantastic from uh, from Thomas there. Gets rid of both of those yellows. <laughs> Adrian bowing in, uh, in deference to that shot. That was amazing. Really, really needed that shot right there. That's going to bring the end back into their control. Okay, line's good. Yep. Hard. Hard all the way. Hard. Want to get this one down. Want that corner freeze. Hard. Good, good. And Virginie, it just dawned on me that yes, you are the 
skip of the Lutzenberg ladies. It, I was thinking of another Virginia, I'm sorry. <laughs> now I know why you're so interested in what's going on there. So that would be a tough, tough uh, thing for, the, for you guys if it comes down to LSDs and to lose it by so just, just a few millimeters. <laughs> Ah, where, where's my camera? There we go. Oops. Vega, Snellet. Over the Snellet. Come on, come on. Okay, los lata, los lata, nix, 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 nix. Don't want this one too deep. Takes away a draw and a tap. So, nose hit would leave that one ex not yep. shot position. Because their double will wreck here, right? Yep. Nose. Yep. Yep. Going into a little bit of a preventive, uh, a defensive stand here, going for that, that nose hit. It would take away any kind of draw. They, It would take There's away the, the double because it would just take out their own red, so gonna try to put this in then possibly use it to tap through later so <laughs> yep. well this one looking pretty good oh as we're going to have to give uh, James and Jennifer some media yep. training. They managed to find every camera angle and block it. <laughs> but also me trying to find the, uh, the right angles when oh, I'm not normally the media. camera guy. I need to do, I definitely need some more practice with the, uh, with the camera angles. Now they want this on the nose. I don't think they want to touch that. Touch both this yellow. They don't want to hit that pocket because I think it takes their shot stone away. Immediately oh, calling oh. for sweep. Now he calls him off. Wants this one to come down. Gets it over. Nicely done. Pushes that yellow out of the way. It's going to be difficult for them to kind of... Well, they could still use a red onto yellow. They could still tap that back. Let's take a look over the top overhead again. So yellow coming in here. Let's start this. Yellow come there. Like red, yellow. Yellow would sit shot, but then they would still be set up with the red because I think the shooter would come over here. Fill it that way and have ours sitting here. We would leave a double back. Yeah, if I hit nose, we'll be sitting one, but we would have a double back, right? Here's also good, right? Anywhere along this line is good. Actually, no, we need to stay here. Otherwise, he can just follow in and if he taps it. What do you like? I know, I know. I'm just asking for, what if we come right here? It wouldn't be an easy double, right, to keep the... You like this better? I mean, I did just throw a hit. 
Yeah, the, the age-old discussion, do you follow a hit with a draw? Yeah. Will you have the right weight? Yeah, I want to sit at least half here, right? Half here is a force or a steel, right? Probably a force. This is yeah, also probably a force if I make it. Just got to get that one to spin off far enough, right? Lots of options here, trying to figure out what's the best leave. I think they know what they can do to, to put themselves in a shot position. But how do you want to leave it for for the hammer. Yep. Yep. We just we just can't feed more than full four in here. Right? At four. Yeah, that's also not bad, yeah. Okay. No, no more than half four. All right, there's the decision. They want this stone to stop halfway, half in the forefoot, so half the stone in the forefoot circle. Yeah, High right is also here, okay. Full four. Yep. Force, force of w to one not being the worst thing in the world. Because if we made the double, they had the double back, and it wasn't so hard. So, top four foot, so like a 4 -oh. Okay, clean it. We're on a slightly new line. Yep. Making sure it needs to get down there. Weight looks pretty good, honestly. Oh, maybe a little bit heavy. Oh, crashes on that. All right. Just taps it there. Sitting out in the open, nose hit for nose hit for two. Okay, like second shot. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty pretty easy decision here. Just try to get rid of that one. Nose hit, slight roll inside. Two points for Ramstein. We've got the wrong camera angle going. Wants a little bit more ice. Yeah, these, these stones have been curling quite a bit. Want to make sure. All right, this is it. Hammerstone here in the fifth. Immediately calls for a sweep. How does that leave it? Moves things around, but still one for Ramstein. So get Yukup Yuk getting the force. All right, Yukup Yuk with the force there. Curled a little bit too much for. Uh, Adrian Stone just curls a little bit too much, gets on the inside, but still ends up sitting there, knocks their own second shot out of the way. So just the one. And then Dree's almost uh, killing himself by <laughs> stepping on the cushion behind. <laughs> Be safe out there, please. We don't want to see anybody hurt. So we're going to head into the sixth. Ramstein with a a four to one lead over Jakob Yuk. Dries will be leading things off here for Ramstein. 
after consecutive steals gave got uh, Jakob Juk back into the level on this match. Ramstein takes the lead again. Vega. Scoring one on their hammer. So very mogelijk. Yeah. This one's a bit light, so asking to sweep it as get it as deep as possible. Ooh, where's the focus on that? I think this one curled just off that center line. So the no tick rule is not in effect. This stone can be moved anywhere, Fine, nice. but not out of play. Coming for the corner yep, guard yep. here, making sure this one gets down as deep as possible. Well, Spot, really good. Good. Good stone there. Very nice, just outside those tramp, outside the forefoot, sitting just, just outside the edge. Very good placement for that stone. Oops. Remsen gonna come around behind this. Come around into the house, get behind their guard. Oh. How nice do you want me to be here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's one thing to be nice for Marika, you know, the juniors, but when you get a bit older, eh, usually they're not so nice. But uh, James obviously saying, let it be. Now that's Vega. Vega, Vega, Vega. Vega, 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 this one, Vega. Try to get it around. It's going to be on the guard. Will it tap it yeah, deep enough? Don't think it's going to be enough. It's going to overlap the guard on the side. So yep. that's, that is going to help. Yukup Yuk gives them the overlapping guard there. So they're just going to try to draw this in behind it. Okay, we have quite a bit of room. Feels Wait like only. it's a bit too much yep, ice. It's yep. gonna have to curl a lot to get behind that guard. Not sure that's gonna be able yep. to get there. It is starting to move. Will they be able to drag this deep enough? Okay, good sweeping, guys. It was just a touch wide, yeah. Good. Weight was good, but as you hear James say, it was just a touch wide. So it stays out in the open. So. Yeah, looking at this takeout, there's a hit and roll there. Get it underneath those, those covered guards and... Yeah, just just get rid of it. That's the first. That's the most important thing. Well, this yeah, one feels. Nice. This one is tight, and then it's also gonna yeah, fall. Yeah. Gonna try to sweep yeah, this nice. one. This is gonna crash onto those guards. Where is it going to put it? Yellow goes out. James trying to drag this one all the way out of play. Yeah. Red one slides over on top yeah. of the yellow. So, ah, however, that was the fifth stone. That one goes out, yeah. I and think, so. Was that about? That? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Is that yeah. about right there? Yeah, okay. Everything goes back to where it was because that was only the fifth stone being played, so not allowed to that do a takeout right just guys. yet. Okay. It feels wider, but... Yeah, 
Yeah, I think that is a little bit wider than it was. James not wrong there. Okay, but wait only. Team opting to say okay, it's one. fine. Yep, yep. Yep, hard, hard, Jennifer. Well, okay, no, 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 no. I thought maybe we could split them, but. No, nope. unable to hold it. It's okay. And it's a little bit wide, so that's going to flash through. I'm going to try this again. They've got a couple options, you know. Ramstein not having the hammer. Trying to keep that middle jammed up, but that is not their stone sitting there, so... Where is my camera? There is my camera. She started before I was ready. That one, unfortunately, is going to slash through. Out of play. Was it quite clear? I don't think Adrian was quite ready with the call either. So I think... Uh, have this or we can just do a little split. That seemed to catch him off guard just as much as let's, me. Let's just draw this. Just... Uh, just the back four, huh? Draw, okay. All right, opting for the draw here. Okay, this is Roman good. and not Marika. <laughs> Line's good in the house. Yep. Oh, skip sweeping, trying to get out there, trying to get it as deep as possible. This one is going to come up light. All right. And now three stones sitting over there on the side. I think they have to start looking at getting something in the house and narrow down the scoring position, scoring area. I think get rid of this one. Try to roll over underneath one of those guards. Seem to push that one a little bit outside. I think it's coming down the line. That's going to be all right. Nope, that is not going to be coming down. Stone is on the other side of the line. Is that going to curl over? Catches it. But that is probably the worst thing they wanted to do is tap that yellow over underneath those guards to help them out. So this James is okay too. now allowed to go but and this is great. Yep. Get behind that guard. Split the house, leave the middle open. Okay. Wait on uh, I guess Yakupyuk doesn't want the middle open. Excuse me. <laughs> Close. Yep. Whoa. Whoa. That's really nice. That's going to come in nicely into the house. Good stone there. Very nice. Does not quite get covered, but it's going to be forcing. Uh... Does he have any kind of roll like that? Oh, yeah, it's a little bit higher than I thought. So they do have this roll over. There is a possibility of a double. Not an easy one. Needs, needs to curl. Don't think that's going to get there, and that's going to flash right through. Unfortunate 
unfortunate stone there. Looked like, yeah, Thomas got a little bit overcorrection, was a little bit outside of the previous one. This one a little bit inside. Fighter? Huh? Fighter? Wants this one to bite over there, cover up that yellow. See the cheerleaders in the background. <laughs> yep! 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 Just make sure it's over, then you're fine. This one, unfortunately, a bit light to try to make sure this one gets over the hog line. Want this one in play. And just biting the wrong thing. Oh. <laughs> Wanted that one to bite the house and unfortunately just tried to bite, uh, just bite in the hog line. So that one comes out of play. Opportunity here for Ramstein to... Uh, I think a hit and roll. For me, I'm looking at the hit and roll up this up this side. Come in here and a hit over there. Let's try this from the overhead view. That will look better. Yeah, so come in, roll over to that. Double it out or even freeze is okay. Even though if they roll even over to there behind this guard would be okay. Yeah, it wants way more ice. This stones have been curling even with the weight. Calling for the sweep right away out of his hand. Didn't like it. Vega! Gets through. It's going to over curl. Shooter is going to stay biting on the side of the house, I believe. Oh, we don't have a camera angle over there. Yeah, that does sit over on the side of the house. but I don't know if that's really going to be super beneficial to them. Keep it as flat as possible. Yep. Good. Top four. Oh, just going to try to draw this one okay, behind. So replace that one, yeah? Top four. Just going to draw this over to the top, top of the forefoot. Something exciting just happened over on sheet. Okay, then, yep. On sheet C, but I was not able to see what happened. Switch, switch. Let's switch this over. I want this one to curl back underneath. This one's going to look really nice. Nice. Wow, look at that. There's that flat stone that he wanted. Very, very nice there. And that was the flat lead. They'd like that a little bit more behind that guard, but I think this one, it's still going to force them. Not much they're going to be able to. Not much Ramstein can do here. Freeze on the gele. Yeah. They're gonna, they're gonna try yeah. to freeze yeah. this one. Yeah. 
Yep, make sure you throw the right color stone. <laughs> Not really the end of the world. They can just replace things, but you do have to Don't remember what that. stone is what. Venom with the I'm not sure I like the... Well, the freeze is okay. They are trying to do damage control, but they need to make sure they get it right. Otherwise, it's going to be an opportunity for uh, Yukup Yuk to score three here. One seems a bit wide. Is this going to get over to the freeze? Oh, that looks just a bit heavy, so it's going to tap it away, but now it's going to sit out in the open, and this is an open hit for three for Yakup Yuk. Nose. Anything on the nose is good. Not too far out either direction. Should be fine. Yep. Just want yep, to make right to sure it. the good. sweepers Looking good. all right the way down. It. Looking good. Right to it. Right to it. Really nice. Good. And there it is. Good sweeping, guys. Thanks. Good sweep, good stone. That is going to be three for Yakup Yuk. So for the first time this afternoon, Yakup Yuk takes the lead over Ramstein, six to four. Well played end from Yakup Yuk. Getting them a little bit of help tapping, getting that yellow tapped over under cover, but made the shots when they needed to. James with two absolutely great stones. So Yukup Yuk starting off the seventh end here. Oops. I got the control of the wrong camera. There we go. Julian starting things off. Trying to get this one down into the house. Top of the forefoot. And there. Oh, a little bit deep. Back of the button. Not bad at all. Good start there. Ramstein, I think, is going to need a big end here. They're going to want to get this one. They want to take a lead, probably score three points or more in this end if they can. Yekup Yuk looking to just leave the one, get the hammer back in the eighth with a lead. Or a steal and leaving this one going into the last end with three or more. This one way too light and gonna come up short. Barely got into the long reach camera angle there. <laughs> Top eight. Yep. Yep, yep, going into, going on the offensive, gonna guard that stone in the house. Force Ramstein to play. Line's good. Line's all right. Play a hitting game. Okay, make sure we're on. Looks all right, but keep on it. Yep, can't hurt it. Can't hurt it. Let's yeah. split the center line right there. That's really yeah. nice. Really nice. Good ones. All right. James likes this one. Does kind of guard. There looks like there could be a an angle. There's probably hey. a run back double, but that doesn't help nearly as much as they need it to. Yep. 
going to want this one to slightly roll bigger. under. Bigger, bigger, bigger. Come on, bigger, bigger. Trying bigger, to hold bigger, the line. Bigger, bigger. Oh. This one is going to just sneak by. Gets it over, unfortunately, on the wrong side of the nose, but still a pretty good stone there that's going to get rid of that shot stone. Unfortunately, trickles out a little bit more, so that means that they're going to be able to do pretty much the same here. What weight do you want? Pack? Or control? Control. Going for control weight there. It's definitely got Jennifer. the weight. Gonna try to curl this over though. Seems a little bit Jennifer. on the outside. Trying oh to get Jennifer. this one to curl over. Good. Nice. There it goes. That's the important part. Get rid of that uh, that redstone in the house. Lose the shooter, but not the worst position. It's going to force Adrian to draw in behind the own, this yellow guard, so they don't really like doing that, but, you know, not much of an option. Marika just confirming what she needs to do. Oops. Another slip and fall. <laughs> In time I was about to say everyone gets one. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's in the club we learned that um, yeah, if we hold it, we don't leave it. And it's in front of the cut line. Well, that's, yeah. Yeah. yeah I, we're going to need to change that club rule, I think. But Dave's being a good sport about it. Want this one here. Yeah, it's got to fall on it. This one's gonna curl quite a bit. It's gonna catch onto that yellow, moves it out of the way. Shooter stays. Adrian sweeping and making sure it gets there. Yeah. Not quite what they had in mind, but that still works. Gets rid of the yeah. yellow. Shooter's still in the house. Same weights, fine, yeah. Now Roman's turn to do pretty much the same thing. Just want to get this one out. Let the shooter stay somewhere in the house. Line's okay. Whoa. Whoa. All right, nice. Oh, that's going to be a bit of a Good. noser, but does kind of stay biting the top of the house next stone will not stay so <laughs> so gonna try to get this one behind behind that yellow do a come around stay above the t-line It's a bit tight. Wait, yeah. looks to want this one to curl over. Doesn't want to come onto that red, unfortunately, or yellow. Unfortunately, it is, so it's going to tap that one back. Okay. It's a little bit of an angle there, but unfortunately, just a little bit tight with the throw. Guard, or we try to bring another one in. Let's guard this one. Let's guard it. Oh. Guard. You can see over on sheet A, Team Reese just absolutely dominating that match, winning 14 to one in seven ends. Over Luxembourg. Hey, nice. Very good job from, from Reese. They're gonna be waiting on what happens yep. with the uh, Huskies-Kekkoln matchup. 
Whoa, whoa, I believe they are looking to be whoa, whoa. in line for a promotion over there They're from League B. Good. All right, this one comes up, guards over it. A little bit of an overcurl there, but still in line, takes away. Well, there is the straight run back, but I think you would lose the red, the red stone as well as the uh, yellow shot stone, so... Yeah, you're exactly. saying let's draw this in behind. Whoops, forgot to uh, switch the mics. Snellet! Land is okay. Vega, Vega, Vega. Needs to be deep, needs to get there. This one's gonna, unfortunately, just a little bit light. Uh, crashes on the red. That's a little bit helpful for Yukup Yuk, kind of closes off the middle. They can either kind of use that to draw the hand. Or we have this draw also, yeah? This draw, if we're just a touch heavy, we tap, yeah? Yep. Good. All right, going out for the draw from the corner. I kind of like the, would prefer the take out up the middle. You're taking away that stone from, from Ramsey and they wouldn't be able to do anything with it. Mine's good. Right to it. Switch. This one Whoa. looks pretty good. Is it going to curl over? Stays just a bit behind, but taps that yellow one a little bit right, nice. more closed. So, going to give them options with this one. Oops, wrong camera. There we go. However, it does leave that hit and roll underneath. I think that is Ramstein's best best option at the moment. Are you going to play for a a draw here? If it's a little heavy, it will have that uh, will have that roll in opportunity. Sneaks, 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 Vega, Vega. Oh, 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 Wanted to let this one go. Unfortunately, that's going to stay outside and just taps it back. Sitting in second shot. And even if we spill ours, you know, that's, that's okay, right? So, but that's, that. Yeah, all they want to do with that, this yeah. one, get rid of that, yeah, it's that it's red. Less, yeah. Hopefully roll something and they don't want to leave anything for my control Ram scene to kind of come right? inside. Yeah, that, yeah. So get rid of this roll over towards the middle. Even if it goes outside, okay, not the, the end of the world. Of yeah, and flop under. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, okay. it catches their one off the back, not the okay. end of the world. They are still sitting too, but the red is out of the way and there is nothing really to use to hit. Of, um, yeah. You know, they've they've got an opportunity to, to draw here. It's still open up that side. There's plenty of room. Oops. Oh, will I hit the 
plenty of room to draw in behind. Get over this way. Even if it's tight, you can tap that yellow one or red one forward to there. But they still have plenty of room to draw in behind it. Immediately said it was too hard out of his hand. Yeah, it looks like it's going to carry. If it doesn't catch something, it's going to carry. Oh, is that going to be? Oh, it suddenly bites. That actually slowed down quite hard there. Is that going to get enough? Kind of sweep it deeper. Unfortunate on that one. That looked too heavy, but seemed to slow down quite hard as soon as it got up next to the house, so. Or do we guard those? Yeah, if we, yeah. Or we come here, right? Yeah. No, okay, let's just guard. Then he really only has the draw for one, yeah? Yep, yep, force is great. Um, See our draws from this side have been around. Yep. I like this call here. Yeah. Don't give them too much. Don't give them anything extra to hit in because if they go for this draw on the other side and it's outside, then there's suddenly maybe a hit. Maybe they could take a double. All right, guys. We just want to guard those two red ones, yeah? So just want to put something in front of these two reds. Seems like a lot. Yeah. I know it moves, but mine don't move as much as his do, right? Okay. You well. Well, well. Just wanted to make sure this one dies. Looks pretty good. It's going to cover over it. Curls over just a little bit, though, but it's going to make it very difficult to do anything with those reds. You're just looking at... I don't think that they can hit... Yeah, there's a possibility they come here. Oops, where is this? Yeah. That they come here, run this back, get rid of the yellow, sit the red. That's two. I don't think this is here anymore. This to this to get this there. I think it's going to push it. Well, that might actually. But I don't think they can get to the nose here. I think it's going to be outside, which would go. There's an option there, but I think it would still catch this, and then that would be the worst case. So. So going to try to come over around. Oh, that's an interesting. They're going to try to take that yellow one out. Oh, it's not good. No, doesn't like this one at all. This one's inside. Let's see what happens here. Tick tock, nothing. And so a steal of one for Yuck Yup Yuck. That's going to give them a three point cushion heading into the next end. Interesting call there from from 
Adrian, not sure that was the, the, the smartest play to do, especially not with that weight. They were never going to hold the shooter, so at best they were going to score one and give the hammer back to back to Yekup Yuk with a one-point lead. I don't think that was uh, maybe the best play. Possibly going at it with, with hack weight or something. Could have held the shooter, but not really sure. But we're going to head into the eighth with Julian leading things off as Yukup Yuk leads seven to four. Ramstein does have the hammer in this last end, but they need four points to win, three to tie. So I think a little bit of a tactical error there with uh, the last stone for, for Ramstein. This one's going to come into the house, carry just a little bit past, well, a little bit past the forefoot. It's to curl a lot. They want this one back on the center line. Line is okay. Yeah, big. Hey, lot my lot my. This one comes into the house, catches on that yellow, so it does sit shot. Top button. Freeze is good too. Top four, top button. Okay, whoa. Same weight. Okay, whoa. Still needs to curl. Close. Whoa, whoa. Yep. Switch. This one. Isn't going to quite curl enough. They're going to try to force this over with the sweep. Nice. Comes in. Top of the button. Not a bad spot. Little bit outside. But hey, if you're talking to just about three quarters of a stone off from where they wanted it, not bad positioning at all. Threes with his final stone in the afternoon, asking to be drawn into the pocket. Needs to curl. There it goes, starts to slow. It starts to slow down right before that logo. It does make more cur take more curl, but then you end up coming up short. And this one's gonna end up on the center line. Yeah, top four. We're narrow, yep. Yes, yes. Whoa. This one's tight. Is this gonna get around? Looks Jennifer. to be all right. Just trying to make sure this curls over. Oh, catches the red, moves it out. Nice. Now sitting three, two behind the T-line, but you have that one sitting just above the corner of the button there. Not quite fully covered yet, but... Jakob Yuk sitting in pretty good position on this end. They're really just playing to keep a keep away keep a big end away. So 
don't necessarily need to worry about scoring, but having the stones in the house does put pressure on uh, Ramstein. Went for a takeout here from Marika. Sliding was a bit tight. Try to correct with the, with the release, but I'm not sure. This one's looking a bit tight. Looks a little bit light as well. This is going to start to curl. Yeah going to go Let around the opposite bigger. side so oh, yeah. Thank you. Oh. does get on those yellows sitting second a little bit outside now unfortunately just tight on the slide and a little Bravo. release kind of pulled back okay just on on broom yep Want to make sure this one is on the broom. Just get rid of it. Yep. Oh, call in for the sweep immediately. Yes. Want to make sure this one stays down. Yes. For the double. Yes. Can this roll over? Get the double. Oh, it just goes Good over shot. the top. Good effort there. Good. Uh, good call from. Uh, from James to see that shot, possible double there if he was on the right, wrong side. Gonna try this one again. Marika with her last stone of the afternoon. Gonna put some weight behind this as much as she's got. Calling for the sweep. It's going to get around there. Gets over. Unfortunately, gets a straight back. Gets rid of that red in the back, but the yellow does spill. So nice shot from Marika. Does get it. Does get the take out there. Good way to end her afternoon throwing. Do you want to try to take this one or do you want to peel first? Take this one. Yeah, okay. All right. Yep. Try to go around, to clear out the wood in the house. So it goes over. Good. Wanted nice. to keep that on the side. Does touch both of those yellows on the back. Pushes one out Good. of play, but red is gone. The yellow one that's behind there is still behind a guard. So. Got to get something for the draw. Get Start building things up. Use that guard in front of it. Get it in the house. Get it covered up. Feels like he pushed it a little bit wide. Yeah, this one is a little bit on the outside. Trying to get this one to curl. Yep, not gonna quite get to where they need it to. And it's also a little bit heavy. Maybe this freezes up against that one in the back. Nope. James takes care of that, keeps it a little bit out on the edge. And so yellow still sitting shot. Just going to try to peel off this guard, not give anything for Ramstein to build up behind. This one's curling a little bit 
over too much that's gonna slide through the house though. Leaves a guard there. So something for something for Ramstein to build up behind. Oops, let's get the right skips out there. The Ramstein is running out of stones. Three stones left to play, one stone left in the house. They need all four of these to win. Playing for a takeout here on that yellow. Is that going to get around the guard? No, that's going to peel that guard off, and then the shooter is going to roll out of play. So, yep. get rid of this red, and the match is over. Most important part, red has to go. It doesn't matter if how many yellows stay. Yeah, I mean, nose is good, anything. As long as theirs is gone, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. <laughs> Well, fine. This one looks good. Uh, that is going to take out the red. Technically, hands should be shaken. There is no possibility, but sometimes teams just like to finish this, <laughs> finish things out. I know I always like to throw all of my stones, and I hate it being last being fourth yeah. and being told, oh, you don't get to throw your stones. Who wants to do a draw in? I think there's some confusion on how much. Oh, maybe wants a little more ice. Is he? Lager. Is he oh, he's gonna lay. Just draw it in there. So, all you Yukup Yuk fans, prognosticators who chose them in the poll, you guys are the winners. Congratulations, Jakob Juk playing a pretty good weekend, pretty solid. Three wins, getting up into that three-way tie for first. Going to have to confirm what the tiebreakers are. This one gets rid of one of the yellows. We'll just take that one, yeah? Yep. Just get to nose again. The same, same thing I threw, yeah? Get to nose. I mean, you can take a little less ice if you want. Just so I don't clip. Yeah, just trying to make sure they get things out. Yep. All right, let's take that so, one. So, Yekup Yuk guaranteed to go to the. Well, I can't say guaranteed, but I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure they are. Tiebreakers are head to head, yep. which I think there is a three way. Oops. And I have the wrong camera angle. Yep. Just going to watch this one come on in. This one to make sure it catches it. Oh, gets rid of their own yellow, okay. keeps the red in the house. That one moved, I don't know, that one moved a lot more. That one okay. moved a bit more than they wanted. I think if we look at this, Aufstieg. Aufstieg. hard to see who is shot. Doesn't oh. really matter. They made it very you hear the high fives in the background. Jakob Yuk celebrating. Final stone of this match here from Adrian. 
Feels like it's too hard. All I really need to do is draw into the white. Is this going to over curl? They're going to try to get this onto the yellow. There it goes. Gets rid of it. Too red, but at this point it was already academic. So there's the handshakes. Big congratulations to Yekup Yuk for the on the win. They played it out, so I'm going to put this points on the scoreboard, but there we go. Big win from Yekup Yuk. Going to make things very confusing here. Let's see, the Kekkeln has also won their match over on Sheet C. I'm counting up the score there. 11, 11 to 6 over the Blue Huskies. Four house in the last in the seventh end kind of sealed the deal there. <laughs> Let's come back over here to the booth, get things wrapped up. That was a you know started out really rough for for Yuk, Yuk, but they got their they got their things everything together. Three steals in a row to get things or two steals to tie things up, and then that second half they just kind of took control over the match. And uh, big win for them, Virginie. Sorry for you and your ladies that they're. If that if that tiebreaker is correct, if I've got the ties, the if the things don't change, I don't know how up to date the LSDs are, but that would be such a hard thing losing by just a few millimeters. But what a finish to to the league C. We'll definitely have a post. I'll be talking about this on the uh, on the broadcast coming up at six o'clock, six fifteen. Um, but we we're looking pretty good. One last session in our, in our super Sunday to go a team, a league, a matchup between desperate housekeepers, a team for and hope you guys join us here on Curtia too, or join me. I think I might have a guest broadcaster assistant with me. We are not sure. I have to wait for confirmation of that, but if so, things might be a little bit more interesting than just me talking by myself. But I want to say thank you to everybody who watched, everybody who voted in the poll. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow us on all of our socials. Uh, it helps us out a lot, really gets more people. The more eyes we get on these videos and these streams, the more people come in, and it's great. So thank you very much. With that, I'm going to rest my voice. I'm going to try to get something to eat, and I will see everybody back here in about an hour and 15, hour and 20 minutes. All right. Goodbye.